Uh, Carly Murphy came to us five years ago uh, when we desperately needed a third grade teacher. And I was ready to leave teaching. I had an insurance sales job lined up and my best friend looked at me and she's like, you're not gonna be happy. She's like, you're a teacher. She's like, you wanna get out, you're not gonna be happy, you're a teacher. And I had just so happened to be talking to someone like, have you applied to Hickman? And I was like, what's Hickman? I knew from the minute she sat down that she had the it factor. She just was with it. She uh, answered questions on the fly. She was thoughtful. And at the heart of it, she just loved kids. And you, you could tell that, you sensed it. I remember getting in the car and calling my best friend. I was like, I have never wanted a job more. I want to be here. It, this, this feels right. That end of that first year, I remember on the last day breaking down crying to my kids and I said, thank you. And I'm gonna get emotional now because you made me remember why I love this. And I found my home. Her tool kit is very deep. Her skill set is deep. She is able to uh, receive professional development and coaching, but then at the same time be able to implement it seamlessly. I think the same thing that drove me to Truman is what's keeping me going is I'm learning. They are teaching me as much as I'm teaching them and we're becoming better community members and not just um, not just learning our multiplication and how to comprehend. That balance of art and science of teaching, she's got it. And um, she's always improving. And I think that's what we look for as administrators and teachers is those that are coachable and uh, those that keep improving. And she wants to be the best teacher she can be for her kids. I'm predictable. My kids know exactly what they're getting and who they're getting when they come in. But I'm also very honest, I'm very transparent. Like they knew that word by the end of the year. If I was having a bad day, we talked about during morning meeting, if I expect them to check in on the car, I'm checking in on the car and letting them know. Um, and we were a community first and then learner second. And I know that's a scary thing to hear, but that's what made them motivated to learn was we looked out for each other and we're a family and they, you know, we had structure, but also our relationship was at the forefront. So I kind of get labeled as the lovey-dovey teacher, but what people don't see when they're in my classroom, it's because we set up our procedures, we set up our expectations, and there's grace when there needs to be, but then there's accountability. Student success means to me is when they're able to make their own goals, understand what that goal is, and then reach it or work towards it. So it doesn't have to be they're going to be on grade level by the time they leave my door. It's did they make progress towards their own individual goal. Of course, I want everybody that leaves Marvel headquarters to be ready for fourth grade and reading on a high third grade level, but that's just not the reality, especially post pandemic. Um, but I'm happy to say all my kids last year grew and that's successful. That is student success because no one left behind farther than when they came in, but they also didn't leave at the same level from when they came in. They grew as individuals and as learners. Well, we're embracing the future as now because, you know, for years we've said, we'll get to that next year because of the pandemic, or we can't do that now because of this. There are no more excuses. That's the mantra of the year. The future is right now. We have a chance right now for a fresh start. We're going into our first full year. We're, we're not a mess. We're not virtual. We don't have any restrictions when it comes to our kids. This is, it's a fresh start. Whether you're a new teacher or a veteran teacher, it's a fresh start to reclaim what teaching is to you. And so think about why you wanted to be a teacher and then find your joy within that. So whatever it is in your classroom that brings you joy, focus on that. Cause there's gonna be rough days. There's gonna be rough behaviors or that rough parent that brings you down. But instead of dwelling on that, focus on finding your joy and keeping your joy.